Okay, here's how you make a basic lamp structure. A basic lamp structure with a piece of acrylic cut on the laser cutter in any colour, clear even in fact if you want. But laser cut acrylic, you can line bend it on the strip heater, the heat rises, it melts it so you can shape it and cut it. And then after it's shaped on the uh, on the line bender, strip it, we can alter it. We keep looking down on it here, we see from the top we've got the big hole for the light fitting. If we need some more holes, we can use a drill to drill them in so we could and shape it after the event. So far, so good. Well, uh, let's see, how do we support it though? How do we hold it in place above in the air with the light fitting in place? A bit of steel rod maybe holding it up in the air. Here's the detail of how it fits together. 6mm rod goes through the acrylic and even put a thread on it. Yeah, Tap and dye it and then fasten it on top with a nut, just so. Now, but then what do we do? Then what do we do? There's a problem. It's all well and good, but how does it stay in place? Well, here's how. It, why won't it just slip down? No, it won't, because we fasten it in place either by putting this tubing here uh, through over the... Uh, steel rod or we stack spacers. Finally you need a base as well and a light fitting in place and eventually you will need a shade but that's another story. And so here we go back to the start. Making a Okay so let's have another look at what we've been doing making a lamp. Here's the main components again that I'm just colouring in red here and one two we've folded it on the on the line bender or strip heater as it's sometimes called looking down on it from above and then the drilling and the next stage so far so good let's look at it in a sort of quick isometric and then from a side view how do we support that component that holds the light fitting uh steel rods a couple of steel rods and here's a close-up of the thread of bar as it goes through the acrylic piece, 6mm steel rod and with a nut on the top but we need some support underneath as we said because otherwise it will just slide down. We stop it sliding down by using a piece of tubing slotted over the steel rod or a series of spacers that we stack on top of each other. Finally, you do need a light fitting to go through your component piece that you've made and eventually a shade. 